Hi everyone, welcome to the session. In this session, we are going to discussing about a few more problems related to averages. Let's see the first question in this session. The average salary of the average salary of 20 workers in an office is 1900 per month. If the manager's salary is added, the average salary becomes 2000 per month. What is the manager's annual salary? That is the question. Here, initially, he is saying about the average salary of 20 workers in an office. Here, average salary of 20 workers is given as 1900. If average is 1900, then sum of 20 workers, sum of 20 workers which is equal to sum is nothing but average into number of workers that is 20 which is equal to 19 to 38 and we have three zeros 38,000 and after that for these 20 workers if manager salary is also added then the average becomes uh, 2000 then the average becomes 2000 per month here average of 21 members average of 21 members here we are including manager we are including manager right so average of 20 workers plus one manager total 21 members which is equal to here sum of 20 workers uh, 38,000 sum of 20 workers we know that 38,000 and uh, I don't know the salary of manager. Let us consider the salary of manager X. So total 20 members, 20 workers, uh, sum is equal to 38,000 plus sum of uh, and the uh, manager salary X rupees divided by number of persons uh, 21, which is equal to average is given as 2000. Average is given as 2000. Now you can do the cross multiplication. Here, which is equal to 38,000 plus x is equal to 21 to 0, 42, 42,000. From this, x is equal to 42,000 minus 38,000. That will give you 4,000. 4,000 is the required answer for this question. 4,000 is the required answer for this question. Here, x is nothing but a manager salary manager salary monthly salary this is monthly salary but the question what is asking annual salary if you want annual salary if the uh, monthly salary is 4000 but the question is uh, annual salary annual salary is equal to 12 into 4000 which is equal to 48000 48000 is the annual salary of uh, manager that is the required answer for this question 48000 let's move on to the next question the average salary of all the staff in an office the average salary of all the staff in an office of a corporate house is 5000 is 5000 the average salary of officers is 14000 and that of uh, remaining people rest is nothing but remaining people that is 4000 if the total number of staff members 500 if the total number of staff members uh, 500 now the question is uh, the number of officers uh, is uh, the number of officers is that is the question we need to find here uh, this problem can be solved by uh, using several methods uh, first i will explain the process how to approach this particular problem that is uh, see here first i will explain the process after that i'll go mm -hmm. with the shortcut method here the process for this question is uh, here total number of staff uh, that is 500 total number of staff 500 and the average of entire staff 5000 therefore sum of all those 500 members is nothing but average into number of persons this is the total sum of all 500 members this total sum of all 500 members uh, is equal to average uh, sum of officers plus sum of uh, remaining staff members, right? Here, as we don't know number of officers, let us take number of officers X. 
if number of officers x then the sum of uh, officers x into 14000 x into 14000 why because uh, the salary of officers is given as 14000 and number of uh, officers as x and uh, as we know that total number of staff members are 500 in that officers are this is about officers officers are x members so the remaining 500 minus x members are remaining staff remaining staff this number is uh, remaining staff members into that particular average is given as 4000 4000 now if you add these two and uh, equate to the total value this is the total value of total value of uh, 500 members total value of 500 members is equal to sum of officers plus sum of uh, remaining staff members if you solve this one definitely you will get the value of x where x represents the number of officers in this way you can easily solve uh, by using the process but i will go with shortcut method that is uh, i will use the allegation rule by using allegation rule you can easily solve these kind of problems here officers and uh, remaining staff officers and remaining staff and uh, number of officers as we don't know and the salary 14000 and remaining staff salary 4000 overall staff members 5000 now you can apply the allegation rule here if you apply the allegation rule according to allegation rule the difference between these two you need to write over here that is 5000 minus 4000 which is equal to 1000 and 14000 minus 5000 which is equal to 9000 here you need to take the ratio of these two 1 is to 9 officers and the remaining staff ratio 1 is to 9 total we are having 10 parts total we are having all together 10 parts these 10 parts is equal to total number of uh, staff members are 500 so one part is equal to 50 it means that number of officers are having one part that is equal to 50 and the remaining nine parts which is nothing but uh, 450 remaining 450 are remaining staff here the question is asking about uh, find the number of officers number of officers in the uh, in the office that is uh, 50 members that is the required answer for this question let's move on to the next question see here the average of five consecutive odd numbers a b c d e respectively in ascending order is 37 here total we are having five consecutive odd numbers a b c d e the question is what is the product of b and d and the average of these five consecutive odd numbers is given as 37 whenever we are taking five consecutive odd numbers or five consecutive even numbers the gap between every two consecutive odd numbers or even numbers is same right in that case what we are going to do is uh, average is nothing but exactly middle number exactly middle number why because uh, the gap between every consecutive number is same the gap between a and b b and c c and d and d and e for each and every number gap is same and this uh, particular c is the average of all these five consecutive odd numbers in ascending order why because this is the middle value of all the numbers this value is equal to 37 this value is equal to 37 so as all the numbers are in ascending order so this value becomes 39 this value is 41 and previous one is 35 and before one is 33 these are the five consecutive odd numbers and their average is 37 the, these are the five consecutive odd numbers now the question what he is asking is uh, product of b and d here the value of b is equal to 35 and that of value of d is equal to 39 the product of b and d which is equal to 35 into 39 35 into 39 here there is a shortcut method for this one if you want to write uh, 35 as 37 minus 2 and uh, 39 as 37 plus 2 
it is in the form of a plus b into a minus b which is nothing but a square minus b square here 37 square what is 37 square if you know that particular value you can write it down or else uh, directly you can multiply all those values uh, here it is uh, 37 square or else uh, 35 into 39 you can do the product uh, i will tell you the product here product of these two 45 and 4 is here 27 plus 15 42 42 plus 4 40 uh, 6 4 is a carry and 3 3 is a 9 9 plus 4 13 13 65 13 65 that is the required answer here 37 square value if you want to calculate 37 square 37 into 37 7 7 sir 49 4 is a carry 21 plus 21 42 42 plus 4 46 and 3 3 is a 9 9 plus 4 and uh, 9 plus 4 13 13 69 minus 4 which is equal to 13 65 in both the cases you got it as uh, 13 65 only here the product of b and d is uh, 13 65 that is the required answer for this question guys i hope you enjoyed the session thank you thank you very much for watching